Iron Man is definitely one of my favourite Marvel superheroes, and I've always wanted to own my own set of Iron Man suits in the armory wall like in the movies. So when I saw this set for an insanely good price, I had to grab it. So let's roll the intro and check it out. Welcome to my review of the Iron Man Armoury Lego set. This set was released in June of 2022 and looks to be retiring by the end of this year. It has 496 pieces and features a more than respectable 8 minifigures in total, with 5 of them being unique to this particular set. This set depicts a few things, one of them being the Iron Man Wall of Armour, his car with the Expo map in it and the attack by Whiplash. As I mentioned in the intro, I got this set for a really good price due to it potentially retiring soon. I paid $39.99 which is half of the retail price of $79.99 for this set which seems a little steep in my opinion given that it's less than 500 pieces but then it does come with 8 minifigures. If you're really enjoying this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more LEGO content like this as well as more. Moving on to the box art for this set and we have a lot going on here. In the background we have the wall of armour with the Mark 25 Iron Man suit in it surrounded by some of Tony Stark's machines and desk where the Mark 85 suit of armour is being constructed with a tool station and Tony Stark's car next to it. In front of them is Whiplash launching his attack on Tony Stark whilst being stood on top of the Stark Expo map. Moving to the right we see where Tony gets into his Iron Man suits with Pepper Potts shooting at Whiplash and Nick Fury sipping on a cup of coffee for some reason. Also featured on the front is a look at the eight included minifigures which I'm actually really looking forward to assembling because I love the Iron Man suits. Moving to the back we get a better overall picture of what's included as well as showing off a few other features in this set which we'll come on to later on when it's all assembled. Opening up the box of this Lego set inside we find four big bags full of Lego parts, a sticker sheet with 12 stickers on and instructions for the build. So I went ahead and built the set and now we can have a look at the finished product. So this set includes the main part which in my opinion is the Iron Man armory with the platform from Tony Stark to change into the Iron Man suits, the work area with the tool station computer and machines and the car with the Stark Expo map parts in it. Starting with the Iron Man wall of armour you're able to pose the included Iron Man suit minifigures in the this wall of armour as well as have space for other Iron Man minifigures you may collect along the way. The use of stickers in this set seems a bit unnecessary I feel, like these Iron Man displays could have easily been a printed plate and this is the theme that runs through the entire set. The platform Tony uses to get in or out of his Iron Man suits looks good but I do wish there was machines or arms around the platform helping Tony with his Iron Man suit. Tony's work area is comprised of a few mini builds which means you are free to set up your own scenes and includes a desk with futuristic monitors which again uses stickers, a tool station that can house a few tools in the drawers, a cute little pillar drill type build which reminds you of my time doing engineering at college and lastly the infamous robot Tony loves to hate. All of these mini builds add a bit extra playability to the set but as for posing I'm not really interested in having them. Finally the car with the Stark Expo map parts in and I have a massive issue with the way the Stark Expo map is recreated in this set. Two reasons it's recreated using stickers which okay isn't ideal but the next issue is what really annoys me. Just look at the gaps between the stickers. I centered the stickers as I usually do with the stickers in Lego sets and this was the result. The car in the movies is an Audi R8 Spider but obviously if Lego did that they'd need to license the car and well this ain't a Speed Champion set. So they went with a generic Roadster car which looks pretty good. There's a place inside to place the Stark Expo plates and allows a minifigure to fit in it too. In this set you do get 8 minifigures which are Tony Stark, Pepper Potts and Nick Fury with Iron Man suits, Mark 3, 85, 25 as well as War Machine and Whiplash. Starting with the Tony Stark and Pepper Potts minifigures, both of these feature printing on the front and back of their torsos with nicely moulded hair pieces and two facial expressions with Tony's facial expression used for when he's in the Iron Man suits. Nick Fury features printing on the front and back of his torso as well as the front of his legs as well with no hair piece which makes sense as he's bald but does feature printing on the back for his eye patch as well. The Whiplash minifigure features incredibly detailed printed torso on the front and back with printing 
also appear on the front of his legs as well. His head also features two facial expressions, or if you choose to, he can wear his moulded helmet, which also features printing on the front. Now for my favourite minifigures of this set, all of the Iron Man minifigures included have a helmet with printing on the front and can also be opened. Starting with the Iron Man Mark III suit, this minifigure features print on the front and back of the torso as well as the front legs like the other minifigures. The Mark 85 features printing in the same areas as the one before, as well as this back piece and sword that was used in the Endgame movie. The Mark 25 features print in the same areas as well, but has these hand pieces representing the suit's jackhammers which are also removable. And finally the War Machine minifigure features print in the same areas as the ones before, as well as this over shoulder gun like in the movie. So for the pros and cons of this Lego set, going to the pros first, in this set you do have a good amount and variety of minifigures, with there being four Iron Man suits, Whiplash and Tony Stark Pepper Potts and Nick Fury. The many builds included means there's a lot of playability so you can set it out exactly how you like and play along with any scene that you so wish to. In terms of cons, some of the stickers should have really been printed parts and with the Stark Expo map they don't actually align properly on the parts leading to gaps which are quite unsightly. The retail price of this set is really expensive and isn't good value compared to other sets. Uh, the only saving grace about this set at that price is probably the 8 minifigures. So overall I feel like this set is a bit messy for those of us who want to be able to pause it but playability with this set is really really good. I'll probably end up making an MLC with more Iron Man figures somewhere down the line. The price for this set like I've said before is really too high. 8 minifigures probably does save it a bit but honestly I'd wait for a sale. Speaking of the minifigures they are all really really good and what a selection included in this set. So what do you guys think of this set? If you like this video give it a thumbs up if not you know what to do. Please consider subscribing for videos like this as well as other Lego videos and I'll see you in the next video.